This moment from today's hearing is getting a lot of play in Washington, some pro, some con. This is the Senate Judiciary Chairman. So no collusion, no coordination, no conspiracy between the Trump campaign and the Russian government regarding the 2016 election. All right, let's break down today's events with Democratic strategist and former Clinton advisor Richard Goodstein and former Solicitor General of Texas, Scott Keller. Great to have both of you here tonight, gentlemen. Good to be here. Okay, so you heard what the Senate chairman said there, Judiciary Chairman said, Lindsey Graham. Uh, this is how the Washington Post reacted to that. They said Graham's attempt to summarize the Mueller report's findings is misleading at best. The report did not assess whether there was collusion because collusion isn't a legal term. In the end, Mueller did not find coordination that would constitute a crime, but he never explicitly said there was no collusion. Trump, Barr, and Graham have said that. Scott. So, Shannon, we've been hearing about collusion, collusion, collusion for so long. And now, all of a sudden, there's this pivot to, oh, no, no, we, we don't talk about collusion anymore. Because at the end of the day, the Mueller report came out and it said that there was no charges to be brought here. And in and, and that scenario, I, look, I think Attorney General Barr is completely correct that the judicial process should not be weaponized for political ends. And that's exactly, I think, the point that Senator Graham was making here. Was, you want to talk about collusion? Let's talk about collusion. It's not there. Well, and there have been a lot of questions about what, whether there was a political animus here, Richard. You know that. You saw Catherine's report, and she talked. you saw a number of the members there talked about the origins of this thing and what Barr is doing. So we know today he said he's working with FBI Director Christopher Wray to look back into things. We know that the U.S. Attorney Huber is looking at things, the Inspector General of the DOJ. Um, Barr said he's talked with him as well, um, Horowitz, the IG um, at the DOJ. And uh, Senator Josh, Josh Hawley, who sits on the committee and was part of this today, tweeted this. You want to know why the FBI spied on at real Donald Trump launched multi-year investigations. It's about at real Donald Trump voters. Unelected progressive elites in our government have nothing but contempt for them. Total, complete contempt. What did Democrats do with that? A couple things. Um, first, uh, hats off to uh, the president and his supporters. Most Republicans believe the Russians didn't even try to meddle let alone succeed, as oh, every intelligence well, I mean, at the polls indicate that. The, I mean, there have been polls asking Republicans, do you believe that the Russians intervene? And the answer among the majority of Republicans is no. They don't believe it. So, good. Congratulations. I think the majority of them don't believe the president took the bait and no, worked no, no. with them. Well, okay. Well, I'm not going to quibble now. I, I, I will be happy to send it to you after the okay. show. Sounds good. We'll tweet um, it out. As regards the collusion, it's interesting that Graham, whom I have a high regard for, Bar, a little less respect after today, are saying no collusion when, and as you said, that Mueller specifically said, we're not looking at collusion because that's not a legal term. We're looking at coordination. And I would say the Republican, that Trump got off on a technicality and his campaign. The technicality was, yeah, the people in the campaign, when he said Russia, steal Hillary Clinton's materials, that's basically what he said. And the Trump campaign didn't steal them themselves. So when they pervade them, when they use them, they weren't kind of complicit in the coordination. And the Russians didn't do it. They had WikiLeaks or somebody else do it. So it was too attenuated to be, you know, kind of have anybody in the campaign accused but of Mueller this. Mueller spent two years and millions of dollars, and his, you know, his assignment is essentially to say whether or not there were crimes committed. I mean, Barr talked about today, like, so it's a binary choice. Either he says, yes, we're going to charge these crimes or we're not. And ultimately, he said that they weren't going to. Let me bring in Scott here. Yeah, it, it, so you know, the other aspect of this, though, too, that you know, we, we can go, we can all go and look. We can read the Mueller report. It's out there. And at the hearing today, it was fascinating because everybody keep, kept wanting to talk about this initial letter, mm -hmm. the, the four-page summary letter. And, and so now everyone can go look at it, and they can see what the report said. And i got to tell you, as a former chief counsel on the Senate Judiciary Committee, the hearing today often look more like debate tryouts than it for Democratic presidential hopefuls, and it really did a hearing that was actually trying to uncover some truth. Well, and there were a lot of people who would say both sides were grandstanding and showboating a little bit, but tomorrow that's not going to happen because the Attorney General is not going to show up there. We have this letter tonight um, from the Assistant Attorney General Stephen Boyd to Chairman Nadler of the Judiciary Committee. He says, the Attorney General offered you and other congressional leaders to the, the chance to review the report with redactions only for grand jury information because that's prohibited by law. Uh, before even reviewing the less redacted version, you served a subpoena instead. Why wouldn't Nadler go look? Why hasn't a, a single Democrat taken him up on this, you know, 
chance to come view something he says less than 2% of the material is redacted. Why wouldn't they at least go look before a subpoena? Well, again, we don't know uh, what's redacted. I, my guess is Nadler's attitude is, look, I feel as chairman, I'm entitled. We have skips. We have these secure facilities to review things like that. So please give me some credit as chairman of the Judiciary Committee. Look, again, and, and the fact is, all this explanation about why Barth's not testifying, I think he's not testifying because probably somebody advised him, you're this close from perjuring yourself. We know what happened in that, in that testimony to the um, House Committee that Congressman Christ asked him something where he was deceitful. Did he lie? Did he perjure himself? No. Did he give an answer that was honest? No. He absolutely didn't. And I think that, among other things, he decided, I I've had it. I've Look, today, when he couldn't even decide what suggestion was, did the White House suggest that you investigate your political rivals? And he kind of, kind of reminded me of Bill Clinton saying, what, you know, what's the definition of is? He was like, what's the definition of suggest? It, well, he had a guilty conscience. He didn't, no, he did say that there were a lot of discussions with a lot of different people, because they said the entire White House, and he said he'd have to think about it, which I think is a smart thing to do if you worry that you would give an answer that would get you in trouble. All Perhaps. of us lawyers would feel that way. Sure. All right, Scott and Richard, great to have you both. Thank you. Thanks Thank for coming you. in.